What's up college football fans, quarterback fans, welcome to another QB Spotlight video. In this video we're talking about Miami quarterback Tyler Van Dyke and what he needs to do to have success against this AM defense. And we, 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 we put out a video talking about Connor Wigman, the AM quarterback, talking about what he needs to do to have success against the Miami defense. So if you're interested in that, you can find that as well. But for today's video, Tyler Van Dyke, what he needs to do. What are some ways to attack this a and defense? Before we go any further, I just want to encourage all the just to consider subscribing to it to the YouTube channel. If this is your first time tuning in, sincerely we thank you for tuning in. There's a lot of great college football content creators out there, so we thank you for spending a few minutes with us. And, and we're just a big quarterback hub. We talk everything, all things quarterbacks, right? Uh, we have film breakdowns, kind of like this. This isn't really a breakdown, actually, just more of a preview. But we have some film breakdowns. We have current and former quarterbacks come on the show and, and talk what it's like to be a quarterback, coaches, all that fun stuff. Again, we just dedicate get this channel to the quarterback position, specifically the college football quarterback position. So with that said, let's talk Todd Van Dyke. What does he need to do to have success against a and defense? I, I think it's f only fair to say that we really don't know what each team is going to be like this year because the opening game for each team was against an opponent that was that was pretty inferior, right? Miami, Ohio for Miami, and the New Mexico for uh, Texas A&M. So I don't think we know a lot, even though at times the offenses look good for both teams, and at times the defenses look good for both teams. So I think we'll preface that we really don't know a lot. That The A&M defense, again, I think they kept everything kind of vanilla, kind of like the Miami defense. They had two sacks on New Mexico, eight hurries, four hits, so 14 total kind of disruptions in the backfield, which isn't bad. Bad, but I don't think they showed too much. I think they're probably relying on getting to Van Dyke more than that, more than, than what they did against against New Mexico. But at the same time, I don't think they showed too much. So with that said, if you're Todd Van Dyke and, and all you have to go off is film from last year and the only game you have to go off is New Mexico, what do you, what do you want to do? What are you able to do? How can you go about attacking that? Well, Number one, you probably don't listen to some YouTuber like me. Uh, you probably have a lot better idea. But from my perspective, I got a few keys that I think can help him be successful. So on the game of last last week against Miami, Ohio, he was 17 of 22 total. He was 10 of 12 inside the numbers. Did really well passing the ball inside the numbers. Had his interception inside the numbers, but was what, what was accurate for the most part and had a high completion percentage. So I think to be successful against AM, if, if you're an, if you're laggy defense, you, you realize that's where most of the success came from, they're gonna to want to try to take that away. So I think you're gonna to have to make some throws outside the numbers, outside the hash to make some uh, I think you're gonna to have to make some throws, right? And what that's gonna do is open up offensively. I think if you can make some throws, complete some tough passes outside the hash, I think that's gonna open up some underneath type stuff. It's gonna it's gonna have the AM defense not be able to kind of crowd the middle, not be able to defend the middle. So if you can come out early and def and, and complete some passes outside the numbers a deep out or, 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 or a quick corner or something I think they can open up some underneath type stuff open up the run game and just force a to have to defend the full field right so that's number one you you, you still want to throw within the numbers you, you still want to throw in the middle of the field and be successful but I think something that a is going to be trying to do is take that away Number two, you want to be good against the blitz. I think a is going to probably try to, to dial up some blitz packages that maybe you didn't see against New Mexico. I think they're going to dial up some blitz packages, or at least try to, uh, against Miami. They're going to try to get pressure on Van Dyke. And, and for Van Dyke, he was actually really good against the blitz. They didn't bring a ton of pressure against him, uh, Miami, Ohio, that is. But when they did, when they did blitz, he was four or five against the blitz. And, and I talked about this in the a &M video. Just because they blitz doesn't mean he was pressured, right? You can have really good offensive line and pick up the blitz and still have a clean pocket. But still, it's nice to know, hey, he was pretty successful against the blitz. Because some quarterbacks, when they blitz, even though it opens the middle of the field or open, opens part of the field, they don't have the same success for whatever reason. So I think be good against the blitz. And then number three, which this may be the, the most important part, and we talked about this for the AM side of things too. I think you got to hit a deep shot or two. I think early in the game, you got to take a deep shot. You, know, you only had two attempts the last week against Miami, Ohio that were past 20, that were past 20 yards. And you didn't necessarily need to, to have that part of the game plan to beat Miami, Ohio. But I think to have the most success in offense that you can have for Miami, I think Van Dyke's going to have to complete some of those passes. I definitely have more than two attempts. Uh, now I'm not, I'm not saying you go bonkers and just start chunking it downfield because you want to hit some underneath type throws as well. But I think if you can hit a deep vertical shot or two, that can open up some things. I, I think that can put Van Dyke in a good position. That can make some easier throws. Now a defense is probably going to be pretty good, right? They got all those high recruits. They had a good show in week one. So if they're gelling together, they're going to be a pretty tough defense to score on. So if you can, if you can connect on a deep ball early in the game, that can maybe open up some more plays for you, right? So just to kind of big overview of Van Dyke, overall takeaway, what he needs to do, 
number one, hit on some deep balls and expect and be prepared for the Aggies defense to, to look a lot different than what they did on, on New Mexico. You could, you could kind of flip this and say the exact same things for Connor Wigman, right? hit the vertical deep ball and expect Miami's defense to look a lot different now if you want to talk or if you want to look at Connor Wigman we actually just put out a video a little, a little while ago talking about what Wigman needs to do so if you have interest in that go feel free to go check that out but for Van Dyke yeah I think I think you got to spread the ball out I think you got to hit some, some balls outside the numbers uh, at the same time you still want to you know throw within the middle of the field but hit the ball outside the numbers be good versus the blitz and then hit or connect on a few deep shots and that right there i think could put miami in a good position to to succeed but i want to hear from you miami fans and fans whoever's watching this what do you think van dyke needs to do let us know in the comments below what you think he needs to do what you think the aggies defense need to do let us know and if you like this type of video please consider liking subscribe to the channel all that youtube stuff again we put a lot of quarterback content on a regular basis so like it share it all that stuff it really does help us and uh, yeah we'll, we'll we'll see you next time.